We're rolling. Up and down the fingers. And into the palm of the hands. And then the pad of the piggy. And the thumb. And into the wrist. Move your foot to pet the cat. Cross the knuckles. And we are back to the fingers. Index finger and thumb. Middle finger. Ring finger. And piggy. Other hand, index. Middle. Ring. And piggy. And let us toss the ball up in the air today. Or to someone. Hmm. Try to trick yourself. Three, two, One, and yeah, put the ball on the floor. That's how the feet are feeling. And step on the ball right in the middle of the foot three times. Up to the knuckles, pressing once on each, going across. Roll across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes, and roll across the top of the heel. Press down just below the first knuckle. Down at the side of the top of the heel. And over in the middle of the fifth minute toss. Roll down each of the bones. And screw. Three, two, one, release, reassess on the foot. We're at the knuckles. Roll across. Give it on the toes. Press down on the three points. Roll down the bones. And screw. Three, two, one, release. Get the ball out of the way. And reassess. We will shake the tree. Three, 
three, two, one, center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. Center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather in starlight. And center, same thing, other direction. And center. Two breaths. And let's walk, march, or jump. So let's see. Today we're doing a very gentle one the upper body postural fixes. So whatever you feel like doing here to get the heart rate going, including of course exactly what you're doing. Be safe. Put some bands in the after class. And uh, thank you for joining me early today. And I'm going to hop, I think, in five, four, three, two, one, two. And And 30. All right, two breaths. You interlace your fingers. Or raise the hands up over the head. Reach up. Come back down if you're on your toes and lean back if you can. Back to center, bend in one direction. Then the other. Come on down. 
push out of the chest. And down, interlace your hands behind your back, raise them up. A little higher. One down and shrug. And roll back. And forward. Extend the arms and rotate. Switch directions. One palm down, one palm up, flip flop. Bring one arm across the body, press in at the elbow. And then the other. First arm behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. You rub both elbows, rock side to side. And extend one arm, fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. Pull up the wrist. Wiggle the fingers, make a fist. And other hand up. Down. And flops. One down and rotate the head. Switch directions. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Look up. And look down. Over one shoulder. And then the other. We do a side lunge. Go the other way. Bring the feet in. Into the waist, unlock the knees, drop the hands. 
to head back. On uh, neutral, drop the hands. Feel it in the hamstrings. And come on up, turn to one side. Oh. Uh, like the stage. And then the other side, and then back on the heel. Your faith was strong, but you needed Yeah, let's come up and grab a stick. going to do the toning bar routine today. So we're going to put the stick behind the back, parallel with the spine, one hand on top, one on the bottom, and move it up and down. And then switch uh, position on the hands. Let's put in the crook of the elbows and twist at the waist. Bring it up overhead. And oscillate back and forth. And then bring the dowel to the chest uh, or the shoulders with the palms facing in and do 10 bicep curls. And then switch the position of the palms so they're facing out. Drop the stick below the waist. Hinge at the waist, keep the head back, spine neutral. Let the stick go down as far as it will and then come back up 10 times. And then go back down and stay there and lift the elbows up past the rib cage 10 times. And then come on up. And what am I doing? Uh, shoulder press, up overhead. And then below the waist and bring the elbows up to shoulder height. And flop the wrist. And push out. Uh, 
Bring the stick behind you with the palms facing away from the body and lift the stick behind. And then reverse the position so the palms are facing in and do it another 10 times. And then bring the stick around front and two hands, one hand or a finger or two, step back from the stick, come up on your toes and hold for 15. And down. And back on your heels for 15. And down, and let's put the stick down. And we're going to start. With some Brother's scapular retraction. So hands are in the L. Come back, hold two, three, four, and back. Hold two, three, four, back. Hold. And hold two, three, four, and back. Then bring them up to the W and back, two, three, four, and back. Release, back. And back. And one more time. And now let's bring one hand to the side, bring the other hand up over the head and bend towards the side that the hand is down on. And hold, maybe inch a little bit further. And come back up and go the other way. And come back up. Now bring your hand up over your head, grab the side of your head by the ear and tug it towards your shoulder. And then bring it a little bit further back and angle your head a little bit more forward. Stretching the real, the back of the uh, neck a little bit more. And then come up, same thing on the other side. And then move the hand back and move the head a little bit more forward. Come on back, tuck in the chin and just hold it for a second. And peck and tuck it in and peck. And tuck 
and peck and tuck and peck and tuck and peck. And now we want to go to a wall. If you can, uh, line up so that your backs of your feet are against the wall, the backs of your calves, your back, your shoulders, your head. If you can't get everything aligned, just step out a little bit. But if you can get everything there, do so. You want your hands in surrender position and you're gonna come up and down 10 times. With the hands, uh, with the, uh, hopefully with the shoulders and arms against the wall. You've got six. And 10. Come on down, shake it out. Again, same position with the body. The hands are against the wall as you come to about 45 degrees to your side and come up to your shoulders and back to the 45 degrees 10 times. And shake it out. We're going to make a L shape. Go up and come back down. Up and down. Pick the cherry while you're up there. Six, seven, nine, and ten. Now, interlace your fingers, put your hands in front, and push out, separating that scapula. And come back in. And finally, let's just do some around the clocks for weights. Got to get it straight up overhead. And 10. And remember, you know, if you can, you want to have your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips, your hips over your ankles. When you're uh, walking head back, chin, chin back, just helps for the whole alignment of the spine and uh, keeps uh, shoulders back too. Yeah. All right. So we're going to breathe. We're going to take that deep inhalation in through the nose and then just let it go with a whoosh or a ah or whatever sound you want to make out through the mouth. We're going to do five. Yeah. 
and center. Two breaths. And let us open our hearts. Pause on that inhale, exhale, send it out. And center, two breaths. And bring down heavily chi. Down to scoop it up. By neutral, head up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Mira. Take care, good to see you. Uh, bands for the rest of us. I'm gonna get some yellows. Or some light ones, whatever. Let's start with the yellows. And let's um, put it around our wrists, bring it down to below the waist create a little tension and then bring the band up and overhead and down. One. Give myself a little one more. Two. And then let's bring it behind the back, interlace, not interlace, but um, put it around the wrists. And we're gonna pull out, hold for two and back. One, two, back. We'll do 10 of these. One, two, back, it's three, Back four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, back ten. All right, let's wrap it around the ankles. I'm going to use a heavier band myself, actually. On the legs, as I usually do. And we're going to get into athletic position. Take a step one, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then let's get on the floor and put it around the knees. I'm gonna switch the cat. Do some clamshells, we're on the side. The bands are right above the knee. And you lift the top leg, one, two, three, nine, and 10, let's do the other side. And 10, and then we're gonna get up and get back around the ankles again. I'll leave the camera in that position for now. Again, you're in athletic position, in slightly at the waist, step out, one, two, three. Try to keep your feet facing forward. Mr. Duckfoot here always has a problem with that. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'll switch cameras back. Go to the light again. And start behind the back. Down the wrists, out, one, two, one, two, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then around front. Little tension up and overhead. One, two, nine. And uh, very good. Thank you. Thanks, T. That went much better than I it anticipated. Is, okay. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I saw you were doing doing the lateral. Uh, I didn't think you were going to be able to do that. So great. Yeah, no. Yeah, that worked. Okay. So, All right, thank you. Thank you. You're Have welcome. a good day. All right. Bye-bye, Alaska. <laughs> All right, Richard, see you later. See you at one o'clock, right? Very good, yep. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Okay, y'all take care, Ava. See you later.